Hey guys, Banana Luck here and back with another Watch Your Realms video. We are getting our banner previews already, even though it's Monday only, and we normally get this pretty late uh, in the week, Tuesday or Wednesday even sometimes. So we have the Hatsup Glacius banner coming up. Last week we had the Artemis and Zilitu one. I already had Zilitu at A3, so didn't do any videos there because there was no need for us to summon for her. A4 and A5 are pretty negligible when it comes to endgame impact. So if you are looking to summon this weekend, whether is it for the Hatsuk Glacius banner or is it for the Ingrid banner that Watch Our Realms has been dropping teasers off, this part of the video is for you, especially for my Singaporean viewers. So Elite Dias, which is now on screen, uh, is actually a Singaporean based WGO. Uh, platform so you can actually purchase WGO from them and they accept most of the local payment methods so pay now pay la grab pay sync out dash as well as your other card mediums which you know majority of the player base will be familiar with so all the prices are in singapore dollars which is better for us because it means that we don't have to convert any currency so you just hit your player id and your server id here and you're going to see the next step here you can just select the amount of WGO you want and all these all these prices are actually in Singapore dollars and I've checked again that you know these prices are a lot better than what the other platforms can offer. Do also check your ID as well, make sure it's correct before you proceed to make the payment. And do bear in mind that you know uh, the top-ups here are also instant, so you don't have to worry. And if let's say you have any issues, you can actually hit uh, them up on whatsapp and you know check whether why there's a delay and remember that top-up event that we had a few weeks back elite ds is also eligible for that because all these top-up events are tied to the game not to actually the platform itself and if let's say you don't just play watch our realms and you want to further support my channel you can top up through my link just hit their logo at the top and you're going to see many other games here uh, things like uh, Genshin Impact, Mobile Legends, or is it PUBG, many many other games and all of them are priced in SGD which is very favorable for us. So yeah, if you do want to support my channel, do use the link that I have in the video description and back to the video. Uh, but Hatsu on the other end has some pretty nice awakenings but let's take a look at Glaciers first. So design-wise, he looks really cool. Uh, actually resembles one of the heroes uh, from one of the games that I used to play. Uh, and yeah, this is just the Ice version. So he's a Northerner Mage, which means that he's probably going to have some freeze in his kit. As you can see here, slow as well. And firstly, you took a look at his damage stats. Pretty all right. Uh, average numbers, nothing special. Attack interval as well, 2.6 seconds. Nothing to be too amazed about, but it's pretty clear that he's going to be single target. Uh, most freeze units are like that. And basic attack inflicts slow per hit. And there's a 20% chance to inflict freeze. And he deals 20% increased damage to targets inflicted with slow. And 20% increased damage to targets inflicted with freeze. Now, question is whether or not this stacks, if they are slow and freeze at the same time, does he just straight up get 40% damage boost? So first passive, that's just going to be basic attack, 120% magic damage to one enemy. And the second one gains a shield equal to 20% of his max HP every 30 seconds, lasting for 10. And each time he takes damage, it reduces the cooldown by one second and it reduces up to 12. Which means that the minimum time that this can go down to it's going to be a downtime of eight seconds yeah but with the cooldown and all that decreasing this can be 26 minus 12 and 10 that's going to be like a four second downtime provided he's taking damage constantly but given that he's a platform unit that's unlikely going to be the case unless you have some aoe uh, effects going on and when ultimate is triggered, the, this effect triggers immediately. It means that he gets a shield right away. And the shield strength obtained is increased up to 40%. And this amount goes up to 30% for the passive and 60% for the ultimate triggered one. So it probably has some kit that you know increases his damage based on shields for sure somewhere. 
Either that or it's just going to be the Northern Bonus with Elder where shielded units get a 20% attack increase. And last passive, he possesses Freeze Immunity, which is interesting. This is like the what third hero that we had with Freeze Immunity. First one being Anora, second one being Imret, and Imret even gives the Freeze Immunity to units in his range. So he deals 60% extra damage to enemies inflicted with Freeze, and if the target is immune to Freeze, which means the enemy, and triggered by the talent, Hero inflicts Eye of Winter on them for 3 seconds. So what Eye of Winter does is that Glacius just regards the target as if he's inflicted with Freeze. So it means that if it's against like a guild boss, for example guild boss 1, uh, that can be frozen. So it's just going to get straight up 80% damage boost uh, as long as he's hitting this uh, target. And since it's every 3 seconds, it's going to keep that effect on him uh, throughout the entire fight. And this duration even goes up to 5 seconds when you max it out, but we honestly only care about the damage multiplier here. And then his ultimate, when activated, increases attack range. So from that one weird mage tower that we usually get, it becomes full 12 tower range and turns basic attack into 3 consecutive strikes, which means that he's going to get more chances to freeze. Each strike dealing 90% damage, and this goes up to 110% to random enemies in range. So it means that he might be eating multiple different targets at the same time, and then for every 1% of max HP of shield strength on, increase damage by 1% up to 100. So with this maxed out, you're going to get 60% damage boost straight up. And this lasts for 20 seconds. Skill cost of 900 is pretty average. Not too high, not too low. So I'm assuming if you pair him with like Gwendolyn, for example, then this damage increase might even go up to 100% easily. And onto his awakenings, where there's one target only in range, increases the damage by 15% with extra 15% damage dealt to targets inflicted with freeze. So A1 will just straight up give him a 30% damage boost in content such as Guild Boss 1, for example. And he's potentially going to be a replacement for Nocturne as well, if you don't have him for the Northerner Faction Trials. And then A2, that's just flat attack, pretty normal. A3, shield strength increase gained by 20%. So the shield he gained was 60% of max HP. With this increase, it's going to go up to 72%. Still missing that 28 to get that full benefit from his ultimate. And then when shielded, as I said earlier, he's going to have something in his kit. Increases damage dealt by 15%. So potentially, he could be quite hard hitting, especially with the right units that give him the shields that he needs. Then increased crit rate just means it's easier to build. And then upon receiving fatal damage for the first time, Triggers Ice Barrier for 10 seconds, during which the hero cannot act or take damage when it expires. Restores 30% HP and 100% rage and gains a 50% shield for 10 seconds. I could see where this works sometimes, but he's a platform unit, so it's going to be very niche usage and it's at his A5. So... Honestly, you're not going to push Glacius for A5 just for this. I think A3 is good enough if you want him to be like some solid Northerner single target uh, damage team. But A5 just seems, to, seems, seems like a waste, especially in single target arena. Even for the cases of GVG, I don't think it's going to help much. It's going to be maybe helpful for campaign content. Or maybe some niche content where we need him in the future. But for now... I think A3 for him is just enough, yeah. But enough of Glacius, uh, the goat of this banner is actually Hatsut. Uh, no explanation needed for her. She's one of the best starters that you can get right there with Boris uh, for the invisibility that she has, as well as that burst with her ultimate and that super drop, uh, low cost at 12. And I don't really need to talk much about her. I just want to talk about her awakenings. My Hatsut is at A3. So her first ever banner, uh, I got the first copy of her and I was happy enough, but 
second time she came around, I had somewhat quite a bit of summons. I managed to snag three copies of her, which first one is basic attack, uh, the bounce, increasing the damage for that bounce. Second one is a flat attack, which is great uh, because she has pretty low base attack. And then third one is just increased timing on invisibility, which is not that great, but her A4 and A5 is really good. So A4 is penetration, which is great for single target arena, as well as GVG, which is exactly the spots where I use her. And then A5 is even more crazy, uh, it adds an extra second to her ultimate. So right now, if you see her ultimate, uh, it's a 3 second ultimate and she deals damage every 0 0.3 seconds. So an increase in 1 second is just going to be 3 more ways of this. Uh, may not sound like much, but I think for GVG content, it could really screw up with the timings that people are trying to use to get their legendary flyers across, for example, or, you know, trying to swarm you, for example. Uh, Hatsut might be great there with her A5. So definitely going to summon on this banner and, you know, uh, go on it uh, for Hatsut mainly. If we do get glaciers, I think it's fine. Uh, just might not find usage for her anywhere soon. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. If you have any questions on whether you should summon, uh, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. I personally feel that Hatsu is a great unit to have, uh, especially if you want to set up a nightmare team for GVG. Hatsu is really hard to pass on, but there is Glacius on the banner, but he's, he doesn't seem too bad. It's not going to be like an awful banner where we had like Hatsu Asrin, for example. That was horrible. Glacius, on the other hand, is a lot more usage for him, especially if you're new to the game and Hatsu is going to be a great early starter as well. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.